Hi everybody, this is the Sentiment Timing Weekly Video Recap for Wednesday, May 27th. So, uh, as you've noticed, this market is continues to have the uh, all-in, all-out mentality. And uh, a lot of people are getting shaken in and out. And it has not been an easy environment uh, to manage, honestly. Uh, things have been going uh, kind of cuckoo, but you uh, you have to work with what you're dealt with, and you know you don't sit there and kick and scream that things are being manipulated and it's not fair. You brush yourself off and you move on to the you know to the next setup. So before we start, I want to go over a couple things about sentiment timing and. Uh, and Woody Dorsey. Um, Woody's the uh, author of Behavioral Trading. And in the book, it, it has a lot to do with how we uh, write our newsletters or our reports. And it's based off of human beings and the markets are irrational. And there's always an irrational element at work in the markets and are exactly what creates mar market opportunities. Um, Woody Dorsey's proprietary database of stock market sentiment that is collected through a daily polling process that effectively filters thousands of sentiment sources. Sentiment extremes will always be seen at major market reversals. So that's really the basis of what sentiment timing is. Now, when Woody does his, uh, his sentiment database, it's spitting out both a long term, a short term, and, a, and an intermediate term uh, sentiment readings. And I, when you see ev whenever sentiment is at extremes, at a bare minimum, we usually get some kind of pullback. It doesn't mean that the market has to go down then. It's just something you want to pay attention to, and it usually would lead to uh, some kind of, uh, at a minimum, uh, choppy environment. And really, that's the, the basis of what we are putting the newsletter out and, and how we're uh, going over both the technical aspect as well as the trend duration where Woody uh, shows, shows you basically when these term dates are, uh, are supposed to be hitting. And they're usually weeks in advance. We already know when the next one is uh, set to hit. And basically, that's how everything works with it. Now, we left you uh, with the last report that we had a turn date on the 15th, and we didn't let you know whether it was going up and down. What we were anticipating was that this turn date was going to be to the downside. And in our, uh, this was our uh, May 7th report. And this was the fourth and this is when we were uh, this was the first turn date and you as you notice we had a big big drop in the S&P now on the seventh what we had we had a very very uh, low uh, bullish sentiment so it meant that a lot of people were, were bearish on the short term on top of that we had five waves down so this is the technical aspect so we were anticipating a bounce that would head into the May 15th and really what we were looking for was something like that and back down again where it's going to retrace this move so we put out uh, obviously the 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 move went a little bit higher I'm sorry uh, higher than anticipated on this and what we did was put out a I put out a video and this was on uh, on May 14th and what it was basically showing was where the S&P was and what a possible trade setup was so we knew that we had the 15th that was coming into a potential turn date to the downside and where the s p was was at twenty one uh, eighteen uh, twenty one eighteen and we knew that if it got above the twenty one twenty six it was where your stop was going to be because something else was going on so the risk for this setup if somebody was going to take the short trade uh was only eight points on the s p because we were at twenty one eighteen and you knew if you got above twenty one twenty six uh, something else is going on now the reward on that was going to be that the S&P rolled over on the 15th and was going to stay weak into the uh, 
into the May 25th time period and we were going to take out these lows. So the risk reward was there for possibly taking a, a short position and this is what the video showed and, and it's obvious that this, uh, this is when the video was put out that the position was stopped out fairly quickly. Now the thing is is that there really wasn't a whole lot of pain with it i mean it's we we let people know that we were anticipating some type of bounce when it was here then we were we said you could take a short position and your stop was right here and it was out now the thing is is that it is was it safe to buy there well we had sentiment that was shooting them at 92 90 93 so everybody was bullish on on the markets and what we saw was a, a rounded top come, and we saw a massive drop yesterday. Now, in the 526 report, what we basically said was the bulls uh, have been pretty consistent in buying the moving averages and look for a bounce at 2099, and that was exactly where the bulls came in. And from there, we had a big day today. So this was, uh, you know, all what we let our, our subscribers know uh, as, as far as what we see going on, both on a timing aspect, on a sentiment time uh, aspect, as well as a technical aspect. So we don't have any uh, meaningful turn dates that are that are coming right now. And, we, you know, what we want to do is just kind of keep an open mind. So remember, we've had massive, massive calls here where it's over a thousand points since uh, since September that these uh, turn dates have predicted. And the blue ones are the ones that didn't work. Now, notice the ones that did work. They were big, big moves. The ones that didn't were always right where we got in. And it's the same thing here. It was eight points. So a thousand points uh, to the, you know, in gains just based on these turn dates compared to these small little stop outs is still a very, very good, uh, you know, it, let's say track record overall. So what about the current environment now? Uh, what you really want to do is this. Uh, we, we know that both the short term and the interme intermediate term uh, sentiments are at extreme bullish readings. Uh, that doesn't mean that the markets have to turn and it, it, it does make things a little bit dangerous on the upside. On a technical view, we have bearish divergences that are uh, almost on all time frames, but the shorter uh, term charts that were showing the bearish divergences may have played out already with uh, yesterday's big drop. But it, the, the um, longer term divergences on the daily and the weekly, they did nothing as far as trying to clean up uh, those bearish divergences. Now, we saw the... Uh, the S&P go down to the 50-day moving average. That was the 2099 level, and that was done in one day. So the the fact that they burned off the shorter term, uh, it, say, overbought level uh, conditions, they did nothing for the daily or the weekly. One day isn't going to uh, burn off any uh, overbought conditions. So the fact that it made it in one big down candle it's telling me that the next time it goes down, that 50-day probably is not going to hold, and it's going to head to the next uh, support area, which is going to be between 2080 and 2035. Now, there's still a chance that we're going to be making new highs, um, but the fact that this sentiment is uh, still at very extreme bullish levels, um, it makes things a little bit dangerous, and it doesn't mean that the new highs have to be made. So the you know the long-term... I, I would say that you really want to be cautious right here and keep an open mind. We may make a new high, but with the uh, sentiment levels where they are and the bearish divergences, you, you want to, you know, just be open for some kind of uh, push to the downside if that takes place. Now, with uh, as far as Woody, you know, like I said, he's been predicting his uh, these turn dates. There are 85 percent accuracy over a thousand points since September 2014. And it's the sentiment data that, uh, you know, only he has that gives him this knowledge as well as the, uh, the way the trend duration analysis and the 15 different market timing technologies. So this is why, for the most part, 
the uh, the calls that we have are correct and you know they're they're big moves but sometimes they're not going to and we're able to pick up on that very very quickly when they don't work this one you know we had the the may 4th worked it got oh you know a little bit over 40 points this one didn't on the may 15th but we picked up on it right away so again no real harm and and that's really the whole basis of the newsletter it's not being exact on these turn dates it's letting you know when one didn't work and and being able to uh to let you know that you know something else is going on and just to wait for a better setup so that's about all i have for tonight we are uh you know the last time we did the 99 special was a couple weeks ago it was pulled off uh we're putting it back on again today this is automatically deleted at on uh, the 28th it's just it's automatically in the system so if you're uh you know interested you can take advantage of that and until next week good luck with your trades